Good afternoon. I'm Mark Ryan from Global Media and Entertainment. I manage the uh, company's Select team, uh, who are basically a business development function across the UK for Global's regional business. I have nearly 20 years' experience working in radio, from programming through to uh, commercial, and my experience of dealing with clients spans from local independent businesses in some rural locations like the South Hams and Torbay, uh, through to big companies uh, with uh, larger budgets advertising across the UK with my now role in the Select team. So today, the Radio Centre have asked me to come and talk about planning uh, a radio campaign. So we've put together six steps for you uh, to make this nice and uh, straightforward. Uh, and do feel free to send in any questions uh, for the end if you have any. So when looking at a radio campaign, naturally you'll approach the group, whether that's Global Bauer or, or Wireless or another, uh, to talk about radio advertising. The first thing that the representative from the radio station will ask you is, what's your need? Uh, this, in my role, helps us immensely because we know what you want to get out of the campaign. If we know that, we can start to put the right campaign together uh, for you that's going to have a decent effect. So different needs uh, could be uh, you're having a sale, you need to shift a certain amount of a set product by a set deadline. DFS do this incredibly well, lots of other examples as well. Um, the ad may go along the lines of there's 70% off if you buy before the end of Sunday, sale ends at four o'clock. This is called a call to action and a deadline has been set. We want people to act and we want them to come in now. Radio is incredibly good at doing this and has been used by motor dealers month in, month out uh, for many, many years to, to drive sales. So what's your need? If you need to shift product, call to action, you go with a hard hitting campaign. And again, your radio rep can, can help you put that together. I won't get into the ins and outs of uh, internal language about frequencies and whatnot. You just need to know, hard-hitting campaign. Uh, if you're looking to do something over a slightly longer period, maybe you're selling tickets for an event and, and, and the event's in six months' time, you might have an early bird offer and then your, your sales may dip and then you'll go into more of a build uh, towards the event. You may want a slightly longer campaign, kind of an awareness campaign. We can put that together. It's longer, it will be lighter weight, very different to a, to a call to action campaign. You may also be a company who sells higher ticket items like furniture, sofas, beds, wardrobes. These are one-off purchases that, that most people make every few years, if that. Um, and what advertisers in this space need to do is be what we call top of mind. So we, we look at something like a base campaign where you're consistently on air over a period of time, making sure that when the person, the prospect comes into the market for your product, you're one of the top three or the top one uh, that is chosen. Another example of advertising, and it kind of ties into the last really, it's awareness advertising again, but with more of a deadline. You may be an MOT uh, station, you might be advertising services. This type of advertising may be a bit more lightweight than the last option because you're looking to just remind people that you're there and make sure you're the person that's chosen. So firstly, when you're talking to somebody about advertising on radio, you need to know what your need is. Do you need sales now or you're looking for them down the line and we'll be able to consult with you. Again, whichever radio group you talk to, they can help. Then we need to know the target audience. Who are you after? Uh, because that defines when we schedule adverts. It defines potentially the radio brand that we go for. Uh, if you're looking for mums and dads on the school run, you may be looking to advertise on a brand like Heart or Bowers Hits Radio. Uh, if you're looking for young couples, you'd be looking more for maybe a, a capital audience. And the tone ality of the advert would be slightly different. We talk to the audience in a slightly different way. You may also be going for an older marketplace, uh, maybe 50 plus. Um, then we'd be looking at radio stations like Global's Classic, potentially Scala. Um, these people, higher disposable income. And as you can see on the screen there, uh, more of a 50 plus age group with higher disposable income, the empty nesters. So once we know what the need is and who you're looking to target, we then need to know where you want to target. And this is where the minefield starts because we've already talked about FM transmitters and DAB transmitters. All of these transmitters have lots of different coverage across the UK. You can be defined to a marketplace such as North Wales. You could go for some targeted advertising in an area like Plymouth. You may want to go with a region like the Northwest or the Northeast, or you may look for national cover. There are lots of different ways that the radio groups can package this up for you with FM transmitters, DAB transmitters, um, we can also talk to you about digital audio. And digital audio simply means podcasting, music streaming, and ads inserted into radio streams. Now, they can be targeted 
as minutely as postcode. But I won't go into too much detail on platforms at the moment. I just want to kind of open your mind to how you look to plan a campaign. So is it localized, is it regionalized, or is it national? All the groups can, can help you mostly with national advertising. And then the killer question, I've been in sales for nearly 15 years. And the answer is as never as uh, straight as you would like it. What is your marketing budget? Many people don't like to tell us because they think we'll look to spend the whole budget. What we simply want to do is make sure that we put together a robust campaign that is gonna deliver a return on investment. And the ROIs vary from sector to sector and there's a great Missing Millions case study on the Radio Centre website that you can lean towards to look at ROI. But if you can come to us with a budget, even three different budgets, you know, we're gonna go in at 50 grand, 25 grand and 15 grand, we can then look at different options on different radio brands. Again, it doesn't matter if you're talking to Global or Bow, we'll be able to go down the same route and look at the same process. Then you need to look at what role you want radio to play. And you're gonna hear from Jimmy uh, from the Barrow Media Group in a moment about content integration. I'm gonna talk now top line about the ways that you can use radio stations. You could have spot advertising, so that's traditional 10, 20, 30 second ads, which are owned by you, the client, and carry your commercial message. You could look at sponsorships, say the weather, the travel, certain shows, all radio stations have lots of different uh, sponsorship opportunities. That puts you within the brand and in the fabric of the, of the radio station with a brand positioning message. You may want to attach yourself to a large, exciting promotion like uh, the promotion that recently ran on the Heart Network, giving away uh, a million pounds. Again, this promotion could be a station promotion, it could be a tailored promotion just for you, the advertiser. You're still using the medium radio, we're still giving you an audience, but we're tailoring it in a slightly different way each time with those. So airtime sponsorship promotions, you'll hear more about that in a moment. What I wanted to do in my presentation today is just give you a couple of examples of clients that I work with. So I, as I mentioned, I work with some national advertisers, I also work with some regional advertisers, and I worked with very small advertisers over the years as well. One of the advertisers I work with, who you may have heard uh, of, they advertise on TV and on several different radio networks, is Trust Trader. So a dual approach here, uh, looking to get people to use the website. And as you saw, uh, radio uplifts web uh, search by 52%. Um, and also advertisers to go onto the website, so trades people. Um, I deal with the owner of the business, so it's, it's a direct owner-managed uh, business relationship. And the key component in this campaign is or in this client case study, is that this, com this company has grown with radio over the years, starting in the home counties about 15 years ago, and slowly crawled across the country as they've expanded, monitoring their ROI, uh, using radio as a core of their marketing. What they've also always had is consistent, high, credible creative. And you're going to hear from Sean in a moment about creative. I can't push how important creative is in a radio campaign. You can get the planning right, but if you haven't got the creative right, it really is not going to work. So Trusted Trader, great example of a client who's consistently on air, looking to reinforce to today customers, talk to tomorrow customers, and do that with a memorable piece of music that is used on all radio stations, same creative, and also on TV. So there's brand synergy wherever you go and wherever you hear that brand. They also use creative uh, very well in terms of celebrity voices, but I won't go into that now. So that's a national advertiser. It used to be regional, now national. Now a regional advertiser, Fairway Furniture, uh, nestled down in Plymouth in the southwest, only advertisers across Devon and Cornwall, family-run business, but the principles are the same. Um, they have great creative, a good piece of music, bespoke written and bespoke sung by a local artist. But their approach to radio is slightly different to Trusted Traders. Trusted Trader is what we would call an always-on customer. They advertise consistently 52 weeks of the year. Fairway Furniture come on for sale campaigns. So we mentioned at the beginning of the presentation that kind of 70% off offer, must end Sunday. Uh, Fairway Furniture typically do that for Easter, summer and Christmas. So two examples of different sized advertisers that I currently work with uh, across the UK. And I've mentioned it and I'm gonna continue to labor the point. You can get the planning right, you can put as much money into it as you want with your spots and your impacts and your reach and you could be on every five minutes. But if the creative doesn't tell a story and it doesn't give the right message, sadly, you're not going to get a return on investment. And that's reinforced in the Radio Centre's study of missing millions. It's one of the very, very important components. So just to recap and to summarise, those six core steps to look at when you're media planning. What's your need? We need to know what you want to get. 
because we can't monitor the success of the campaign if we don't know what you want to get out of the campaign. We need to know the audience you're going after. Is it empty nesters? Is it young mums? If we know that, we can put it on the right brand and at the right time of day. Where do you want to advertise regionally? There are so many options now. The FM transmitters cover one area, the DAB transmitters cover another area, there's national coverage, there's digital audio, as I said, that gets you into podcasts, music streaming and radio streaming. There really is a lot of exciting options now. It would be really handy for me and my sales colleagues at the radio groups across the UK to always have a budget. Just a yardstick to work to of, okay, well, I could spend this or I could spend that. A couple of options so we can start to put a campaign together for you. There's nothing worse than somebody in my position coming to present to you and asking for £100,000 and you were thinking more that you wanted to spend £1,000. It's awkward, it's embarrassing, and you shuffle out the door quite quickly. I've made the mistake. Um, what role do you want radio to play? Do you want to be integrated? Do you want spot air time? Is it awareness? Is it baseline? Is it short term, long term? And that all important sixth step is the radio creative.